I'm thinking of doing some bright colors here for flowers and I'm going to start with teal which is turquoise cool aqua and soft aqua and I'm going to do the largest flower in that let's see if we can kind of speed our way through these flowers petals here. Again, you can take your time here and go through each petal individually if you like. I am just trying my darndest to make this video go just slightly faster for you all. And let me get that soft aqua. Now the soft aqua is a flex marker and not to worry, you can use turquoise, duck egg, and cool aqua is a nice combination for turquoises which I have used often as you know um, or you can just use your blender pen at this point and it would be nice and soft on the edges so it is doable with two, two colors here I'm not happy with the way I've lost a little bit of definition here. So I'm going over it again. So much for me trying to make this quicker for y'all. I just said that. I like that a little better. Okay, so now on the next side, I am going to pop a red flower. And I've got my burgundy, crimson, and lipstick red. So let's see if we can... Now I'm going to definitely go a little slower on this one. Red sometimes is unforgiving, so I want to be careful and just want to do it once. It's a very strong color. Okay. Burgundy, this is crimson. Lips 
lipstick pink red I mean lipstick red I don't know why I have pink on the brain I see we missed a little piece of hair there so I'm going to get my black And then my gray, I'm just going to use my ice gray 3 because I think this nib will work here. Yeah, that's good. And I see we missed our eyebrow hair, so let's, the other one is slightly covered. There's an ice gray black. Not ice gray, ice gray 5. There, that looks better. Okay, so now on this other side, I'm going to go a, a purple, and we'll do the centers and the other flowers in a minute. I'm just... Now all these lines is where I'm going to go with my aubergine, purple, and orchid is the colors I am choosing today for this purple, and I'm only putting purple on these lines. That have been provided for us by the artist. Let's get that purple out. Now let's get that orchid. I think I've run out of time three times already. I'm so into this coloring that I keep forgetting to check. So I'm just adding the orchid to the final edges here. There we are. And I think I'm going to add some more red on this end over here. It looks like a, a peony of some sort. The red always seems to give it a little wow factor for me. It's a nice color combination. Looks great on my paper. Okay, I think this here, I'm just going to assume it's a little bit of greenery. I am going to bring that same greens in with these leaves that's in her eyes. See, we also left this little leaf out here, so I'm just gonna tidy that up. Okay, and I think. I am not sure what's in behind here, but guess what? We're going to make it a leaf. Because that's what I feel like doing. And there's another one down here. Okay, and I think I'm going to bring a purple flower over here. I'm not sure. Maybe I should do it up here. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do it up here. I just didn't want to have a turquoise beside a turquoise, so I might have to add the turquoise down there. And as you notice, I left my centers and my flowers out for the moment. I'm going to try and figure out what to do with them. I'm going to add the little turquoise one here. So 
some reason I'm just not liking this turquoise one. I want it a little more sharp here, so adding a few more strokes to my darkest color. You know, I think I want to get a darker color. Let me get uh, marine. Let's see. I got marine in my hand here. Let's see if that'll darken it up some. Oh yeah, well. So if you want just a little bit of darker color, I've got marine here. I just want a more contrast between my colors. Just adding strokes here and there. Might be going a little overboard, but now I'm going to get that turquoise. Just to me, it's a little more richer, vibrant color with that marine in there. Not as washed out as it was compared to the other flowers. Now I'm going to get that cool aqua. I wonder what paper I'm going to use for this. I didn't pick it first, which I should have, because then I could have matched up my colors and my flowers. But I just wanted to color. didn't want to think about card making, as it takes me a little longer to master something like that. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit of marine in this one down here. Which I should have started with that. So now I have a color over here, and I think I'm going to add another purple one. I'm just kind of following a few of the lines here. Not all of them. Just to give the flower a little life here if it's got different layers here and there, which they do. Now it looks like there's a little bow type thing here. I really don't know what that is. Um, I am going to make the bows red. There's another bow down here. I may, you may have wanted a lighter color here. I see against her hair, you lose it a little bit. So totally up to you. I might add a little bit of, um, uh, wink of Stella to just pop it a little with some little bling. I haven't done my centers, which I'm not quite sure. I think I'm just going to lightly put my orchid in there with my blender pen for that one. And as far as these two yikers, I almost want to put a pop of yellow in there or brown, maybe brown. 
think about it. Okay, so this one down here, I'm going to stick another turquoise one down there. Because I'm not quite sure what it is. So let me get my marine. Am I babbling today? My goodness. I think that turned out cute. So, middle of those flowers. Let me grab the yellow, please. I'm just going to get my mustard. And of course, it doesn't want to work. And I have gold here. Gold and mustard I'm using. And I'm just gonna get my, that's gold. I'm gonna get I'm just grabbing randomly here. I got my buttercup here. there's a little hair here. I'm just going to color it black. And I'm going to get my burnt raw sienna. Just to add a little depth to the center there. Okay. So all that is left after how long is her little dress here. So let me grab some colors. Okay, so now because I decided I put some yellow in the in the flowers, I think I've decided to put yellow on her dress. And so I'm gonna use the raw sienna mustard and the buttercup, my usual yellow combination. And I'm just going to try and create some depth here. I've got the raw sienna that I'm just kind of playing to see which which I feel is more on the darker side so that I can have some highlights. So I just kind of randomly, it almost looks like every second one, I've um, kind of put underneath and then added the brightest highlights here where I think it's kind of popping out. Um, you could also use a cocoa. It would go nice with these two yellows as well. I'm just adding where I feel the darkest areas would be. I'm just going right alongside that with my mustard. Lots of folds in this dress. Now 
Now I'm just not really super happy about the very bottom where I kind of left the raw sienna. So I'm just going over it again to make a little more definite lines. To finish off the picture at the bottom. Again, we're just trying to create some depth here. The illusion of having nice folds. Because that's what we see. Okay, I'm just going to move this, turn this paper over because it's really bothering me that you see the mess off the paper. So this is her finished. Now I got a new product. It's called Molotow. It's acrylic premium paint and it's a two millimeter round tip. One millimeter extra fine. I'm not sure why it has two sizes on it but that's um, what it says. I got this at a CERES uh, -E in Canada. Uh, I know you can get it at other places and online, so you can have a look. It cost me, I think they were under $5 a, a pin. So I am just going to uh, just dab to uh, pop my whites of my eye because I've gotten a little bit of color on it. Okay, and then I'm going to add a little bit on this turquoise flower here, and I'm just going to randomly put a few dots. I know you, a lot of you have seen this done on here. Now I'm just doing no rhyme or reason. I'm sure there's probably a right and a wrong way to be laying this down but I'm just want to try my new pin out so I'm just randomly putting some dots and I'm going to add just a few on the red just from the center out I think it adds a little more interest to the flowers so and then I'm going to put some on this purple one I'm going to try and uh, not smudge the other ones because it will take a little bit to dry um, so I'm just going to put maybe some on this bow just to draw your eye there because it did come out a little dark and I'm not going to put it on everything else just those three main flower, uh, flowers and her eyes so this again is an image from the east wind and I love it and it's super sweet and I will leave you the link under the description of her store she has many different uh, images I'm sure you'll fall in love with. So thank you very much for watching and we'll talk again real soon. Take care now. Bye.